All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS reInvent, and look who I'm with me, Brendan from Click. Uh, Brendan, welcome to the Robert Show. Ah, uh, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Brendan, uh, it's a busy 60,000 people conference. Uh, first of all, I would love to know a little about yourself. What do you do at Click, and then uh, what's happening at AWS reInvent? Okay. So I am Brendan Grady. Uh, I am the general manager of the analytics and AI business unit. Yep. Uh, so I have responsibility for product management, R&D, product marketing, and go-to-market strategy. Um, yeah, there are 60,000 people here, so there's 60,000 things I could possibly do. Right. Where I'm really focused here is I, I like seeing what other vendors are doing, right. like understand some of the key trends and how AWS, as our partner, can really support our journey in, in AI. Yep. Fantastic, uh, thanks for sharing that. Brendan, also kind of quickly wanting to learn, I know generative AI is like the topic uh, of the hour, everyone's talking about it. I'm kind of curious to learn how is generative AI transforming user expectation for data analysis? That's like something interesting. Uh, it's always it's always a question, is a glass half empty or glass half full, right? True. So, um, the expectations are fundamentally changing because if people just want to be able to ask a question and get some type of answer back, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a really positive thing that generative AI has done for analytics. The challenge is generative AI, if it doesn't know the answer, it'll generate an answer, and it isn't always accurate, it isn't always correct. True. So that's the challenge, sort of the glass half full, glass half empty. Yeah, I think uh, that's a very good uh, you know, answer to that question because that's you know my favorite question to all the leaders out there, but uh, very well said. Um, uh, also quickly wanting to learn a little about you know the organizational bit, right? How can organizations gain clarity around selecting appropriate AI solutions? Uh, and how does data play a very important role in that? Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's the really interesting thing is I, I, was at a, I was at an event like this a couple months ago. Right. And I was listening to someone talk about generative AI. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, generative AI, it's great for analyzing large amounts of structured data. And I just said, wow, that's bad advice, right? That's not what generative AI is for. So what we're, fi what we're finding is that companies are trying to figure out what techniques they need to apply. Yep. That's yep. the core thing, right? Go to the problem you're trying to solve. Yep. Go there first, and then apply the appropriate technique. I think that uh, sounds amazing in terms of, you know, uh, how they can make it easier as well for the clients as well, right? Yep. Uh, also quickly wanting to learn about uh, why is it important to build systems to ensure data quality and explainability because that's also one thing that I've been talking to a lot of enterprise leaders yeah. and they're like, we have heavy focus on the explainability, data quality, also data governance to a level, right? Oh, completely. Um, in a world of unstructured data, think True. about it, right? True. There are hundreds of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billions mm. of documents with unstructured data. Yep. You can't control that quality. The most important thing you really need to think about is if, if you are going to try to make a decision and you start with bad data, it's like doing a math problem with the wrong numbers. It's yep. just going to end up wrong. And those decisions can cost you money, mm. can cost you time, and in really bad scenarios, it could cost you your job. So you've got to make sure that data's right mm. from the get-go. That's uh, very important. Uh, in terms of uh, any use cases, right? I'm kind of curious to learn a little about the use cases, any examples where AI has gone wrong and how, you know, how how it ha how it could have been stopped, but uh, uh, companies couldn't help. So I would say for some of your viewers, I'm going to give you a recommendation here. Go to Google and Google business intelligence failures or artificial intelligence artificial intelligence right. failures. Right. It will bring up page after page of where it went wrong. So I'll give you a couple examples. So yeah. um, a large vendor based on the west coast of the US had one of their AI agents spew racist tweets at someone asking questions. Oh that was a gosh. nightmare for them. Yeah. Um, everyone's probably heard of the Air Canada story, where yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's oh a God. nightmare scenario. Nightmare, that, right? That's yeah, an exactly. absolute nightmare. So there are things like this. Um, a job board, here's a great one. Job board basically used machine learning to make sure that they were hiring diverse candidates, male, female, different backgrounds. What it ended up doing is it ended up recommending not hiring a certain ethnicity. Mm. That's where it goes wrong. And think about the reputational risk hit that that company is going to take. Yeah, I think those are fantastic examples in 
it could have been where you know you could have saved it, but then that that's how that's the world we are in right that now. That is the world we're in, and it makes people nervous. No, right? it's true, true. I, I agree to that, Brendan, and uh, thanks for sharing all these great insights. So, one last question for our audience is about they want to reach out, learn more about the things that you all are building. Uh, where can they do that? Uh, I know you all have tons of resources, webinars that you all kind of constantly put out for the community to learn. Yep. And uh, Click is fantastic that way. That's great. I mean, always visit our website. We're always up to date there. Yep. Get you all the information you need. It's not just product stuff, right? It's how do you think about these problems? So how do cool. you approach some of the things? So visit the website and, we, and we're happy to help everybody out. Fantastic. Thanks, Brendan, for doing this. Such a pleasure hosting you on The Rabbit Show. We'll keep the conversation going. I can't wait to do it again. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, everyone.